Taking a gap year is only beneficial if it's gonna be beneficial. Oh man, that's deep. What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. I just wanna say a really quick thank you to all of you who joined me thus far. We are growing so fast and I'm really grateful for all of you. So thank you so much for that. This video is gonna be about should I take a gap year or not, okay? So you guys have always been like, oh, you know, like I saw that you didn't go straight into PA school, how was that? Or like, should I take a gap year? I don't know. Madonna and I mean like my gap year wasn't completely by choice right so so I mean I literally I wanted to be um, in med school I got into a couple med schools and then I decided eh, no med school's not for me so my gap year was kind of like by happenstance with respect to life and just how you know I was navigating life and you know getting married and having babies and all that stuff but I really 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 appreciate my gap year I mean obviously and it was like gap years. So obviously when I was going through it, I didn't necessarily appreciate it, which happens with pretty much everything that we're going through in life. I don't think we ever really sit down and we're like, man, I'm so appreciative for this moment. Um, a lot of times we look back and we're like, dang, that was a good time in my life. Man, what was going on? How come I didn't like actually appreciate when I was going through it? And, and that's like, that's just kind of life. And that's kind of what happened with me. I didn't necessarily appreciate it. I was like, man, I want to be in school right now. I should be in school. I think, you know, I'm smart enough to be in school. I think I'll do well in PA school. And um, obviously I don't think that I was ready. I don't think it was the time for me to be in school, especially with my kids being the age that they were. I just don't think I would have thrived as well as I did um, this you know, currently as I am in PA school, I don't think I would have just been mature enough and handle some of the situations that I've gone through with tact as I did had I gone to PA school, you know, two years ago. So with respect to that, should you take a gap year or not? For me, I do suggest you take a gap year. Now, it comes with some contingencies, okay? So you can take a gap year, absolutely, but taking a gap year is only beneficial if it's gonna be beneficial. Oh man, that's deep. Right? You know, so like if you're sitting up here and you don't have the number of healthcare hours that they require, so you know, you're, the majority of schools are requiring 500 and you have like 200, then take a gap year find a job and work your behind off so that you can meet those hours, right? And it's the same thing with your GPA. It's your same thing with your volunteering. It's the same thing with just your prerequisites. If your grades aren't where they need to be, if you don't have all the prerequisites that you need to have, if they're getting a little old for the non-traditional student, then definitely take a gap year. The gap year is only gonna be a benefit. Don't sit up here and try to apply and do this like haphazard, mediocre application and expect that you're gonna get into PA school because that's not gonna happen. PA school is getting more and more and more competitive to get into and therefore you just need to make yourself a better candidate. So that is like, that's the beauty of a gap year. You kind of get to find yourself as a person, you get to mature a lot, you get to see a lot if you are just continuing to gain that healthcare experience. Um, as you add more shadowing hours, you get to see the profession as it kind of develops and grows and morphs into just what it can be in the future as you see these different PAs and physicians collaborating together. So it's important for you to actually take that time if you don't have the best application currently to kind of mature that application and just be a better wholehearted round applicant. And so that is that to me is the only reason why you should take a gap year. Now, I mean, if you meet all the requirements, you're just like a bomb candidate, like straight out the gate, you know, you killed it in undergrad, you were working two jobs, and you still was pulling straight A's, um, your GPA is on point, your GRE is on point, then absolutely, why would you take a gap year? No, don't do that. Why would you? Why would you? There's no need for you to take a gap year because you already meet the requirements. You're already a great candidate. Therefore, apply. So, you know, the gap year is for those students and those individuals who feel like, you know what? Actually, I think I'll benefit from this gap year. I think, you know, let me actually 
take some time for myself because I've been killing it in undergrad and therefore I just kind of want to take a little bit of time for myself, spend some time with my family before I get back into the swing of things. Because just as how there is burnout in the healthcare field, there's burnout as a student. You can sit up here and you can just be in school all day, every day, and PA school is long. So you're in there for hours on time like seven to eight hours for some some programs therefore you know you could get tired and burnt out from studying and learning and all this information especially after you just came from an undergraduate degree therefore those are the times that you take a gap year but if you feel ready if you feel motivated if you're a great candidate then don't take a gap year right i mean that just makes sense so that is my suggestion for the gap year or not you know, you can take a gap year if absolutely feel that it will make you a better candidate in the future. But if it's not necessary, then don't take the gap year. So I hope this answers you guys' questions. If you have any further questions on just the gap year and the whole process in navigating that, just leave that in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not already done so, go ahead, follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA and subscribe to my channel right now. And I will talk to you guys next. Bye.